Hi, it's Sarah here from Crafting and Stamping and I'm back with my usual quick tip and um, this is probably a little bit more of a kind of series of tips. It's just to give you some ideas to get you thinking and I'm using the Neutrals Adhesive Back Sequins that I've been using this week and just want to give you some ideas for how you can use these to accent your DSP and how to think beyond the, the normal, easy DSPs that you could use. So I'm going to bring in a few different DSPs uh, for us to, to use. And of course, these are 15% off these DSPs this month. So I'm going to start with the Fresh as a Daisy uh, and just sort of point out how easy it is to use these to accent the papers that we've got. So what we can easily do with something like the uh, Fresh as a Daisy DSP is use our sequins in the centres of our flowers. And depending on which ones you're going for, I'm just going to lift these off and hope that I can get them back off again because what I'm going to show is, and, and what I usually do is just lift this off the sheet so that I can hover it over and see which size I'm wanting to use. So I've picked out one of the little ones for the little flowers. And what I would then do is go for one of the larger ones for the larger flowers. And you could accent quite a number of these flowers in this way. So that is one of the first ways and floral papers make this so easy. There are so many different ways that you can go with these, um, including, it's a little bit more difficult, let me just point out, a little bit more difficult if you've got these large flower centers like this, but I have in the past used a variety um, and I would perhaps use a mix of uh, large and small to fill out that flower centre area there. So don't be put off by the larger ones. Just be, bear in mind that you might need to use more sequins for them. So we've got all of those. And then you've got these wonderful ones that I've... Um, in cutting up this is we've got this sheet here and on Monday I used this one and just used a scattering of um, sequins to highlight it but again we can use this so use these sequins um, for these flowers here and in particular I like even though these are large flower heads what you can do is just pop your sequin in the centre of the flower head. I'm just trying to put these on lightly so I can get them off again, just to demonstrate to you what a difference this can make. I don't want to pop it down too hard. I don't want this to stay because I actually need to cut this paper up first before I do it. But you can see how having one of these on each of the flower heads does create quite a, a luxury look to the paper. So that is our flowers and that is a pretty easy one. That's something that I think most of us at some time have used gems or sequins or, you know, anything like that um, to accent or embellish our floral design DSPs. But it's not just for the florals. If I bring in a couple of patterns of the eclectic, delightfully eclectic DSP, I'll just show a few ideas. Again, it, what we're looking for is repeat patterns that you can then accent. So what we could do with this one is maybe take these and just pop one in the center of our pretzels here. So you could accent your pretzel design with the sequins. 
uh, and you're not using masses of them to do that. Similarly, with this one, you've got the, it, it's always worth looking for dots because dots give you a pattern to be able to put your sequins in place. And, you know, it might be that I would use these smaller ones on this and just dot these about. And if you don't want to go too mad with them, then you could decide that you're going to go alternates um, or even further apart. You might want to just skip a row and then do the in-betweens on the next row. Obviously, you cut your paper first um, and you place your labels so that you're not going to put sequins that will be hidden by labels. So I tend to put these things on last uh, so that I don't waste them on anything that's going to be covered up or is even too close to the edge to make sense. You know, if it's something like this going off the edge of the paper, I wouldn't wouldn't usually bother unless there's a specific design element that I'm after. So with this, again, we could decide um, whatever colours we're going to go for. We can just pop these in the centres of these dots. And like I say, any kind of dot just gives you an instant uh, place to be able to put your sequins. So we could embellish like that. So that's the highly eclectic. I'm now just going to bring in the bright and beautiful. And this is a little bit more tricky. Um, but there are certain ones that can still work here. Again, I'd look for dots or circles, but you could also use the centres of stars as well. In this particular pack, I think this one lends itself. And I think I'd probably go with something like the silver. But this is, you know, very much down to personal taste. And again, I probably would go for all of these. But if you're being a bit frugal with your sequins, alternate. That's not a bother. And then the final one that I just want to demonstrate for you. Um, I'm going to bring in the Zoo Crew DSP, which I love. I'm sure you know that by now. And again, we can use these to just embellish the flowers. You could pop it in the centre of any of these little flowers. That's an easy one. Um, perhaps... Perhaps not so much with these. There's, there's ways and means. Um, now let me bring. Go, let's let's flick over to. You will have probably, or if you saw my online workshop, you'll have seen. I actually used the gems, the adhesive back gems, solid adhesive back gems with the llama. But again, that ball of wool could be replaced with a sequin like that. Or you could pop a sequin in the centre of the heart with the hedgehog working away at it. Um, and let's go on to... Now, this is one that I think is a, a good one normally but it doesn't quite work with this size of sequins but juggling uh creating a juggling animal um if you if you've and i'll show you in a second how we can do this but these sequins won't quite cover the cupcakes so it doesn't quite work for this you could try it I would want something that's just a little bigger than these sequins. Another option for this is, and I would go for the smaller ones for this, but you could, could also pop them, you could make the dog into a juggling dog and add in between all of his confetti, uh, you could add some little juggled sequins. And I'm covering up the stars, but I'd pop in a few 
extra kind of like that like to make, turn him into a juggler as well uh, the other thing that we can do is add just some plain sequins or plainer sequins to the little uh, banner that our elephant's holding and we could go all the way along I'm just going to try and grab these back so that they're not wasted and this kind of goes for any sort of animal with its arms paws whatever it is out you can turn it into something that's juggling and just notice with our juggling koala here that there are lines between to indicate that it's that there's movement and that's something that you could always just draw on so let me bring in another one so he's got his eyes closed but he's got his arms out and this is where again we can turn it into a juggling anteater so we could pop some and I might actually swatch, switch that for a smaller one. Or you could alternate. Nothing to say they've all got to be the same size. Um, wanting to not go too high because I don't want to get part of the alligator included in here. But if I pop those down like that, you've got a, a little juggling one. And again, if we draw in our lines here for movement, to indicate movement, it shows that he's juggling. So I hope that this has given you lots of ideas for how you can accent your DSP with these adhesive sequins. Uh, of course, the same idea works for gems and rhinestones. It doesn't have to be sequins. I've just been featuring those this week. So any of these ideas, great ways to accent your paper and create something a little bit more special. So I hope that that's giving you some ideas. Please do subscribe to my channel below to see a quick tip or set of tips every Friday and a quick card every Monday. Thanks for stopping by.